46 verses 1 to 3 says, God is our refuge and strength, a very present help in trouble. Therefore will not we fear, though the earth be removed and though the mountains be carried into the midst of the sea, though the waters thereof roar and be troubled, though the mountains shake with the swelling thereof. These were the main verses of scripture of my bishop's message, which was entitled, For the Crisis, Christ Is. Though the scripture is well known, we will only truly understand it when trouble comes knocking on the door. And when I say trouble, I mean anything from natural disasters, wiping out the livelihood of an entire community, economic uncertainty, health issues, or really any problem that seems insurmountable. Things are bad for sure, but those who know their God can hide in his pavilion, shielded from trouble. How you react in crisis is indicative of your relationship with God. A portion of Daniel 11 verse 32 says that the people that do know their God shall be strong and do exploits. This means that in spite of the relentless pain, suffering and destruction that humanity faces, we can still do all things, not in our own strength, but through Christ. I can handle it through Christ. You can rise above it through Christ. And I am not just going to survive. I will thrive in the middle of economic collapse. You see, people need to see a standard of living from a believer that baffles them as to how you are still smiling and so upbeat in the middle of your own crisis. Sick, but still saying, God is good. Broken, but still declaring promises that you have yet to see come to pass. I have decided to replace fear with courage. It is a decision that I am making daily as challenges arise. My resolve is to trust that God knows what he's doing and nothing has caught him by surprise. God is your defense and your protection. So be that tree planted by the water and decide that you shall not be moved. Psalm 46 verse 10 says, be still and know that I am God. I will be exalted among the heathen. I will be exalted in the earth. The Bishop's message has come to remind us that Christ is the antidote for the global, communal and personal crisis. God will make a way of escape for his people and we must believe that he is the answer for every challenge in every area of our lives. For the crisis, Christ is. This has been the Word in Review. If God allows it, I will see you next time. Bye for now.